welcome to the lecture series of material science and physics today we will cover the part 3 of iron beam implantation process so in this part 3 of our lecture about iron beam implantation process we will discuss about the iron implantation equipments and its working principle so dear student in this lecture we will briefly outlay outline that how the iron implantation equipment works what are the essential part used in iron implantation process so what are the component which basically used in iron implantation process and what is the working principle of the iron implantation equipment okay iron implantation instrument consists of different types of equipments which are placed inside the iron implantation equipment okay so the iron implantation equipment consists of an ion source okay so basically in iron implantation the ion are produced inside the ion uh, iron implantation equipment with by using iron creation source okay so there are the student different types of ion creation source used uh, to generate the ion or to create the ion in um, ion implantation equipment most commonly used source for in, in ion implantation as an ion source is known as glow discharge Usually, the direct current glow discharge is used to create ion in iron implantation. Other types of technique, as I have previously also discussed, used to generate the ions are inductive coupled plasma source of creation of ion, microwave induced plasma, electron, synchrotron, radiation ion source, and there is also capacitive coupled plasma source for creation of ion so all these are basically the um, sources are basically the techniques through which we basically create the ion in the ion implantation process okay so these equipments are basically used to generate the ion of our desired requirement in the ion implantation process so basically when the ion are created by the ion source there is an accelerator okay and this is basically is based on low medium and high current okay and so this accelerator basically accelerate the created ion toward the surface of the target or toward the surface of the substrate in which we want to do the doping okay so dear student please note that the doping rate of ion basically depend on the type or on the nature of the accelerator okay if the accelerator is a high current acceleration then there will be a wide range of doping onto the surface of the substrate okay and the number of the dopant incorporated onto the surface of the substrate is known as dose okay so in accelerator the ion are electrostatically accelerated by high energy and then they are targeted onto the chamber where the ion impinges on a target or a substrate material okay so basically the ion with higher energy is are impinged by accelerator and this these accelerator are basically act uh, uh, as a moving body to move the electron or move the ion uh, at a different rate they could move the ion at low high and medium rate okay if the incorporate if the, the motion of the ion is at high rate and there is a high accelerated current 
um, incorporated by the uh, accelerator then there will be a higher rate of dopant incorporation onto the implanted onto the surface of the substrate which we want to do the implant so initially the ion source basically create the ion and these ions are accelerated by the accelerator in ion beam implantation so when the ions are accelerated by the accelerator there are a separation magnet incorporated inside the um, ion implantation setup so these separation magnet basically separate the ion on the basis of charge to mass pressure okay so basically we move the desired ion due to this magnetic separator onto the surface of the substrate so like we if we need in industry if we need a, an ion with specific charge to mass ratio these um, magnetic separator with a specific magnetic field will be used and they will only move the ion which have a specific charge to mass ratio which we basically required or which we desired to be implanted onto the surface of the substrate or onto the surface of the target material so dear student initially the ions are created by the ion source and then this ion are accelerated by the accelerator the ion are then the ion are separate of the desired requirement are separated by the magnet by the separation magnet okay and when the ion are se separated from, from the se by the separation magnet we just uh, collect the desired ion okay and this desired ion are then transported or moved on to the target surface or on the substrate in which we want to do the deposition of in which we want to do the implantation so the desired ion basically which are separated by a magnetic separator are basically are moved on to the surface or inside the bulk of the target or the substrate material and in this way uh, the the ion implantation equipment works so in a simple word if i summarize the component of ion implantation equipment the ion implantation equipment consists of an ion source okay and the ion source generate the wide range of ions and when the ions are generated the accelerator will accelerate these ions the, and when the accelerator accelerate the ion there is a there is a, an instrument known as a magnetic separator which have a different magnetic field strength so this magnetic separator will separate the ion which we basically required and when the, and when the magnetic separator separate those ions these ions are then transported onto the surface of the target or substrate material and in this way we dope the target or substrate material with broad range of ions. Just to let explain the ion implantation with a schematic diagram. Initially, 
I will summarize the ion implantation equipment and then I will briefly explain the different parts of ion implantation equipment. So in a simple word, in ion implantation equipment, ion are basically created by the ion source. These ion which are created by the ion source are accelerated by the accelerator which is placed near the ion source inside the ion implantation system so when the ion are accelerated by the accelerator these accelerated ion are transported on to the magnetic separator so the magnetic separator will separate the ion on the basis of charge to mass ratio okay so dear student for ion implantation we need a ion with a specific charge to mass ratio so these ion will move straight ahead whereas ion with different charge to mass ratio will be deflected and will be blocked whereas the desired ion in the ion implantation setup will be moved on to the surface of the substrate and then they are implanted onto the surface and inside the bulk of the substrate material. So dear student, typically the ion implantation system consists of ion creation source, the accelerator, magnetic separator, the magnetic ion blocker, and the substrate in which we need or in which we want to do the implantation. So dear student, now let explain the different component of the ion beam implantation in a brief. Ion beam implantation system consists of ion creation source equipment. Ion creation is done by a different types of method. Some of the well-known ion creation methods are direct current glow discharge method, capacitively coupled ion creation method, inductively coupled ion creation method. So the wide range of ion creation method or techniques are used in ion implantation process and by these techniques ions are created in the ion implantation equipment. These ions are created ion are transported or moved by the accelerator which accelerates the ion by electrostatically toward the surface of the substrate or target material. Okay, so basically these ion, the ions generated by the ion source are moved forward or accelerated by the accelerator and they are transported onto the surface of the substrate. Dear student, please note that in ion implantation, each ion used is typically a single atom or a molecule. So thus, the actual amount of the implanted material onto the surface of the target is usually integral over the time of the ion current. So it is basically a total amount of the implanted ion current with respect to a time. So the net amount of the ion which are incorporated onto the surface of the substrate over the time is known as the amount or dose of the ion which are implanted. So the dose is basically 
represent the amount of the ion and plant that is gone to the surface of the substance with respect to a time dear student please note that the current supplied by these implanted ion onto the surface of the substrate is in the range of few microampere this is this mean that the current supplied by the ion which are doped which are basically in which uh, which are basically implanted onto surface of substrate is less so this mean that ion implantation is only a surface modification technique and it can basically change the physical and chemical properties of the material at the surface in order to increase the ion dose onto the surface of the substrate the substrate material is moved in upward and downward direction or in different direction to this target and to this impinging ions or incident ions so when the substrate material is moved up and downward the maximum amount of the ion will be implanted onto the surface of the substrate in a uniform fashion okay so dear student please note that the typical energy of the ion used in ion implantation is somewhere around 10 to 500 kilo electron volt so this is the energy range of ion implantation however in nano electronics the energy of ion used is in the range of 1 to 10 kilo electron volt why do you think student in nanotechnology the amount of energy used by the ion is 10 1 to 10 kilo electron volt just don't please note that less will be the amount of energy of ion less will be the possibility of defect or damage of the surface of the substrate so the only and the ion with the less energy will be only implanted on to the surface of the substrate so basically we will get better deposited or implanted substrate with less defect when we are using less energy but keep this in mind if the amount of the energy of this incident ion on the substrate is less then the penetration depth of this ion will be less inside the substrate or inside the bulk of the material so there is basically with less energy there is a possibility of less damage of the surface of the substrate dear student there are some accelerator which accelerate the ion in the energy range from 1 mega electron volt to 10 mega electron volt this mean that the the energy of ion is too much so when these ion are reached on to the surface of the substrate they basically damage the surface of the substrate and even the bulk of the substrate material okay but dear student please note that these accelerator are used in ion implantation but they are specified for specific applications the penetration depth of a ion inside the substrate material will depend on the nature of ion composition of ion energy of the ion and also the nature of the substrate material dear student please note that the monochromatic beam of ion generally have a broad distribution depths inside the substrate material so if the energy of the or the wavelength of the ion is same then there will be a broad range of penetration depth on to the surface or inside the bulk of the substrate okay and the incorporation of the ion of the bar with a single wavelength is usually known as the range of ion inside the substrate material 
under typical substance circumstances a yawn range will be penetration range will be in the range of 10 nanometer to 1 micrometer thus this means that a yawn implantation process is a surface modification or surface change process so with this process basically we change the physical properties like electronic electrical and mechanical properties and as well as chemical property of material at surface dear student when ion interact with the surface of substrate there is a possibility of elastic and as well as inelastic collision and with these types of collision ion loses its energy and then they are implanted onto the surface and inside the bulk of the material okay now coming to word accelerator which is used in ion implantation equipment dear student please note that there are different types of accelerator used in ion implantation equipment some of accelerator are known as medium current beam accelerator high current beam accelerator high energy accelerator and very high energy accelerator so this student please keep in mind high medium current accelerator have a current in the range of 10 micro ampere to 2 milli ampere where is the high uh, current accelerator have an energy have a current in the range of 30 milli ampere in case of high energy accelerator the accelerator energy is around 200 kilo electron volt to 10 milli 10 mega electron volt so dear student please note that the high energy accelerator which have an energy in the range of 200 kilo electron volt to 10 mega electron volt are used in specified application because this these accelerator the acceleration energy give the acceleration energy to ion which is too much and with these high energy accelerator ion somewhere around 10 to the power 16 per centimeter square are implanted on the surface of substrate so the basically higher amount of the ion are basically implanted by the high energy accelerator but the issue with the high energy accelerator is that these accelerator give higher energy or higher acceleration to the ion and which cause damage to the surface of the substrate so dear student in simple word in ion implantation process the ion or the equipment the ion are created by the ion so as they are accelerated by the accelerator accelerator and then they are transported on to the separation magnet the separation magnet basically separate the ion on the basis of charge to mass ratio the student in the ion from the ion accelerator basically reach to the magnetic separator the student please note that the ion which are moved from the accelerator have a charge on it so when they move reach to the magnetic separator there is a magnetic field in the magnetic separator so this magnetic field basically will spiralate the ion if the ion have a magnetic if the ion have a positive and or negative charge on it so the spiralation is basically done by the magnetic field in a magnetic separator where the electric field will move the ion in a forward direction in a move forward direction and in this way the the ion will move and spiralate in a magnetic separator dear student please note that according to the according to the uh, lorentz equation the total force which will the ion will face in a magnetic separator will be magnetic plus electric force the magnetic force will basically spiralate the uh, 
ion in the magnetic separator where the electric force will move forward and the ion in a forward direction okay in this way the charge to mass ratio ion with respect to a charge to mass ratio will be separated and they will collide with the slit ion having a different charge to mass ratio will collide uh, with a slit which is present inside the ion implantation instrument so uh, dear student i explained that when the ion reach into a magnetic separator the ion have a charge on it and these the charged ion will interact with electro uh, uh, interact with the magnetic field electromagnetically so the ion will spiralate and different charge to mass ion with a different charge to mass ratio will be deflected by the magnetic separator and they will collide uh, with a blocking slit okay however the desired ion will move straight ahead toward the surface of the substrate so dear student in this way the desired ion which will move straight ahead onto the surface of the substrate and in this way basically we incorporate or we implant the desired ion onto the substrate material so this is it all about the iron implantation equipment and its working and essential component or essential instrument which are present inside the iron implantation equipment so dear student thank you for watching